Hello everyone, welcome to System Test 12 of the Apollo Addressable House System. This has been, there's been a few changes to the system and some new additions. So I'm going to show you guys uh, all the changes and additions to the system. So first off, in my room as you can see, uh, we've now got the uh, shelf system back. So as you can see you've got the Apollo uh, Addressable Wide Shelf System back. And then we've got the call points as well. So we've got an intelligent Apollo intelligent call point, uh, Apollo XP95 call point, and then we've got XP95 detectors, and then uh, a loop powered beacon. And then for our uh, new change, we have a new panel which has replaced the C to XFP, and I've now got an advanced MX Pro 4 addressable panel. Uh, this is a one loop panel. Uh, I do really like this panel uh, a lot, and it's much better than the CTEC XFP. So, yeah, we're only going to be testing the core points uh, today, and then we'll test the detectors in the next system test. So, before we start testing the system, I'm going to show you guys uh, the panel quickly. So, uh, we've got all these function stuff. So, as you can see, MX Pro 4 panel. And then over here we have our, LED, uh, our, um, our different stuff here, our LEDs and stuff. So fire, fault, disable, test and power. And our system faults and delays and sounders, faults. And then we have five functions. And then we've got reset, mute, silence, resound, evacuate. And then we have a keypad for entering uh, letters and stuff. Like the uh, zone names and stuff like that. And arrow keys. And if we press this button, uh, this will take us to the uh, menu. So if we press this, so there we go, and then it takes us to the menu. So I'm currently in level two menu at the moment. And then if we, um, and if we press view, we can view different stuff. So there you go. Our fires, faults, inputs, etc. And then test is going into test mode, so we can test the zones, display buzzer, and print and output. So I'm going to show you guys the, the display and buzzer. So if we press display, there we go. So it does a display test. And then the buzzer. There we go. And then press escape. Uh, also, I uh, think this panel is, it says print here as well, but I'm not too sure. Uh, if the panel has a printer, so and then outputs, I've uh, got to enter the password for that, but yeah, you can test sound outputs and stuff like that. And then we have uh, we can disable, um, disable the uh, sounders and zones and stuff like that, as you can see. Uh, we can print and then. The status uh, is just the home screen. And if we go back, uh, and then we can enable um, all this again. So the, the zones, the inputs, sounders, outputs, and groups and delays. And then uh, we can go to commissioning. So I'm going to enter the default code. And then on the commissioning menu, uh, we can do some programming on the panel instead of the software. So if we go to loops, we can view the devices, as you can see. And it's got the addresses on the panel and the state of them. Um, if they're in fire or if they're on normal mode. And then the types of devices. And then we have the uh, analog values of the, the devices, of the detectors. And then uh, we can put the change the zone numbers and then add device text. And then we can change the actions and the sensitivity. And then the output groups for the sounders. And then it tells you as well if it's XP95 discovery. And then we can do auto learn. Uh, I'm not too sure what the calibrate does, but 
and then that's the loop one driver and then you can uh, do outputs you can uh, do different stuff here, you can change the causes, the styles and delays and then you can uh, do the zones you can change the zone names and stuff so I've set these are the ones I've set and then the time and the date uh, and then you can view um, the fires, faults and anything really on this panel inputs, outputs and then we can exit if we wanted to and then if we go to the next menu uh, we can do set up passwords uh, we can um, look at the panel itself, look at the devices the sounders and the batteries and the other values and then set up uh, you can set up, uh, this is just general stuff, for general settings of the panel as you can see and all the detectors are set on to blinking for all uh, when you have one device that's uh, polling and that's the, the intelligent call point but I'm hopefully going to get some discovery stuff uh, discovery devices and make some changes in that and you can also change the configuration data uh, I think this, I'm not sure if this panel can do Hochiki as well but it's currently set on Apollo and it's gonna, I'm going to keep it on Apollo because I already have uh, the Kentex Synchro for Hochiki and then resound upon so I've got it for new device and fire every time the device gets uh, set off then the sounds will go off yeah that's pretty much it really and then you can do uh, this is for the PC configuration for programming the panel so you can program the panel so it will just say waiting for PC and yeah that's pretty much it for the uh, menus of the panel and, it, and you can change you can go back between uh, flick through between uh, menu 1 and menu 2 and then once you finish commissioning you can press exit and then you'd enter your code again and then it will take you back to level 2 menu or level 1 menu and then this means now that the panel is in normal operation so yeah, that's a quick overview of the panel. Uh, we'll go and test uh, some devices now, and yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So we're now in the garage. As you can see, uh, the expander sounder that used to be in my bedroom has now uh, come back in the garage, and uh, it's now up there, uh, whereas it used to be uh, on this wall over here. So. Uh, this sounder is back in the garage now and then over here uh, we've now got a new expander detector uh, which is just uh, over here at the other side of the garage as you can see so uh, another optical smoke uh, over here because uh, we have a, ba a backup uh, smoke detector near the other garage door so this is just covering uh, some of the garage so yeah and then for our final addition to the system is we we now have uh, an ex an expander intelligent call point as you can see so yeah that is our final change uh, this is a, a really nice call point so yeah that's our final addition to the system so we'll be testing all the call points so start with we're going to test uh, the expander intelligent call point here so let's test that we need a test key so here we go in three, two, one. There we go. So we test the XP95 core point. So here we go. In three, two, one.
we go. So in bedroom area. Uh, so now we can go ahead and in zone 1. And then go ahead and reset the call point. So we're going to reset that. And then we can uh, push it up. There we go. So there we go, then we'll test the intelligent call point. And also as well, here's the expand interface, which is just moved onto uh, this shelf over here. So yeah. And let's test, uh, finally we'll test the intelligent call point. So in three, two, one. And there we go. Let's reset the uh, call point. As you can see as well, the call points are stored on the shelf bit. Are stored on the shelf, as you can see. So there we go, that's reset. Now I can press reset on the panel. And yeah, there we go. So that's going to be it for system test 12 of the Apollo uh, dressable system. Thank you guys for watching. And next system test, we're going to test uh, some detectors. So yeah, stay tuned for the next system test. So that's going to be it. And goodbye, everyone. And be sure to comment and like, subscribe videos as it would really help. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>